the SIG P365X. Let's check it out. When SIG introduced their P365, it changed the concealed carry market. We have a really small firearm carrying 10 plus 1, then you have an extra magazine of 12 plus 1. Same size as your Glock 43, which holds 6 plus 1. And this really trumps the single stack market because it's so small and so thin and you have the extra mag capacity. Not long after, they came out with the SIG P365XL. This is a longer slide. It's a standard 12 round magazine and you can up that up to 15 rounds. Really thin, very small handgun, even though it's a little bit larger than the P365. And now they've introduced their P365X, which has the standard original P365 slide with the XL frame. So you have a 12 capacity frame that goes with that shorter slide. And we've seen that a lot of times with the leverage on the grip, it actually makes this a very easy shooting gun, just like the Glock G19X. That's the best shooting Glock on the market, in my opinion. And so this is really something that gives you the leverage of your grip and yet gives you a very short slide to be able to conceal. Now we did a review on a hybrid P365 where we took the standard slide and put it on the frame and they function just fine. But now SIG has introduced that model. Now we got the P365X from Gunzone Deals who originally sent me the first P365 and the XL. And we really appreciate Gunzone Deals for sending us guns to bring to you so we can do reviews and show you what's out there. The P365 has become one of the most popular selling concealed carry options out there. Um, and of course, a lot of that has to do with taking that really small Micro 9 size and then putting a 10 round and of course with the X, a 12 round magazine. And a lot of the pistols that are still single stack, it's about the same size. And then of course, there are a number of companies that have come out with some of the same double stack magazines in these smaller sizes. But SIG was the first. And the SIG quality, you know, is just excellent. Now, with the SIG P365X, uh, there are a few things that kind of differentiate between the two, but really it is a marriage of the two put into one. Let's make sure the gun's unloaded. We're going to drop our magazine. We have two 12-round magazines that come with the pistol, and the chamber's empty. Uh, polymer frame, Strucker fire pistol, uh, stainless steel slide, black nitron finish on it that's really durable. Uh, then we have a carbon steel barrel, which this is about 3.1 inches in length. Same as your standard P365, which we're going to do a comparison between the three because we've already done uh, reviews on the P365 and the XL. And so this is going to be talking about some of the features that are on just this specific pistol. But if you've never really looked into SIG and the P365, you know, we're going to do a full review. Now, of course, the inspiration is the standard P365. These have been safety checked. Uh, the slide itself is exactly the same dimensions. The barrel length is 3.1 inches. Uh, both of them have a carbon steel uh, barrel. And then we have the stainless steel slide and stainless steel chassis, which we'll look at when we break it down. Nitron, black nitron finish on here, which is typical for SIG. Now, obviously, this is an optics ready plate, so the sight is actually integral with the plate and thus the larger sight. And the XL model at the top, you can see they are the same type sights, and both are optics ready. 
and these are the X-ray three tritium sights, uh, and they're really excellent. I mean, they're really bright. A really good sight picture shows up very well. And here we have the XL version, which the frames are almost identical to the X, if not identical. I mean, everything is pretty much the same. It's the same length. It's the same width, same texturing, everything. Even down to the flat face trigger or the flat trigger. Uh, with the original P365, we have a curved trigger. And really the geometry of a flat trigger makes it a little better as far as pulling it back. It's more consistent. And so I really like the flat face triggers. But then also we have a shorter slide with the X to the XL. Uh, the XL barrel is 3.7 inches, and again, then the 365 is 3.1 inches. Now, one thing that we do have on the X that we don't have on the standard P365 is that it's optics ready. And so we have a plate right here, and we can put any kind of micro red dot on here. Weight on the P365 original, 1 pound, 2.6 ounces. Weight on the P365X, 1 pound, 2.6 ounces. Weight on the P365 XL, one pound, 2.4 ounces. So really not a lot of difference. One of the things about the XL and the P365 is originally we did a hybrid, which we changed the slides out. We actually did a full video on it. That is what the X is. It's kind of a hybrid between the original P365 and the XL. It has a steel mag release that can be switched to the other side. You have your slide stop here. You have your takedown lever front and rear cocking serrations. Uh, we do have an accessory rail and it's called the SIG rail. Uh, and this is a proprietary mounting system. I don't think we've seen anything out of them yet from that. Uh, but with the standard P365, we have our 10 round magazine. Uh, we have our 12 round magazine that's standard with the X. And then they also offer a 15 round magazine as well. And all of those are also compatible with your P365 original. And here we have one of the P365 12 round magazines. It's actually cut for the shorter frame. And so it does give you a little bit of length. And guys, to be honest, uh, it really makes these two almost identical as far as in grip length. We're gonna take these and shoot them in this configuration as well when we take it to the range. But that is one thing about this pistol is really the big advantage of the X is that you're gonna have it optics ready. And so that is a big plus. If you have a standard P365, again, you can just add this 12 round magazine. But this gives you a full grip that is one piece and it does make a difference. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a spoiler alert. Uh, even at the range when you're shooting, uh, because there is gonna be some slight movement here with the base pad, it's not a lot, but there is a small difference. Magazine compatibility between the XL and the X are identical. Uh, same magazines, and again, you can't get the 15 rounds. Uh, but one thing is with the X, if you want to use your 10 round magazines, they just don't fit. They're just not long enough. Even with that extension, it's not made for this grip. It's actually made for the P365 grip. Now the laser engraved texturing is very nice. It's not too aggressive and yet, you know, it's very easy to grab. It just really feels good in your hand. It's one of the things about the P365 in general. Uh, it's, it has a very ergonomic feel to it. Uh, and then of course, with this longer grip, you're gonna have a little bit more of a full grip on the pistol. A slight little beaver tail here that kind of lets you right up pretty close. Uh, and so it keeps it at a fairly low bore axis, but SIGs typically are known to have a little bit higher bore axis. Now when it comes to the trigger pull, you have some take up right here, and it's quite a bit of take up. Uh, you don't have the trigger safety that you have on a lot of the striker fire pistols. So it's going to have just a little bit extra. When you come, you hit a wall, and then you have a little bit of take up, and then you have a break. And I'm going to tell you guys, it's a very muted trigger pull. Uh, in fact, it's kind of funny when it does, it's just a very soft trigger pull. Reset right there, which is more crisp than this. With the original P365, you have your take up. It's still a very muted trigger, but it's a little bit more than your X. And honestly, with the XL, it feels like the X. It is a very muted trigger pull, so it's really kind of different. But at the range, it really picks up well. 
trigger pull weight with our Lyman trigger gauge from Brownells. Four pounds, 12.1 ounces. 12 pounds, 14.7 ounces. Actually, it's a pretty nice trigger pull. Again, you have some take up, a little bit of resistance, and then that really <laughs> muted break. It's kind of funny. Reset is pretty quick. But when you hit the brake, it is vertical, 90 degrees. It doesn't go all the way back in the trigger guard like a lot of pistols do. We really appreciate Fiocchi for sponsoring the ammo, uh, all made in the USA, one of the largest manufacturers of ammunition in the United States. Uh, and we're shooting 115 grain full metal jacket. Uh, also, we're gonna be shooting uh, the standard piece 365 with the X and the XL, just to kind of get a idea of the different ways that they function. Now since we've done reviews on both the P365 and the XL version, uh, we wanted to take the X down to the range with those two models and we wanted to test them side by side because that's really where the rubber meets the road. You want to know, you know how they shoot, how they compare. And so we pretty much did just a side by side all the way through and I wanted to get a good feel for the differences. We're going to shoot each one back to back. We're going to start out with the standard SIG P365. Now we're going with the P365X. Now the P365XL. With the standard P365, we are getting a little more muzzle flip, and I think that has to do with that grip. Just like on the G19X from Glock, it seems to just give you the leverage with the grip. With the XL, there's a little more slide mass, and so you have a little bit more coming back, but it does stay really flat. And the P365X, I mean, it's kind of the best of both worlds. You have less slide mass, and yet you have that leverage. So we're gonna see a little bit more how this functions. Guys, all of them shot without any malfunctions. Uh, they just run. Uh, for our first 365, we put over 3,000 rounds through that pistol and not one malfunction. And this was one of the early models when SIG was having a few difficulties. Uh, but we have not had any problems. With the X, same thing. We shot about 500 rounds and uh, between the three of them. So we didn't really put this through a major test, but it was flawless. The XL has proven to be an exceptional firearm as well. Uh, with the three guns, uh, when it comes to the P365 standard, there's definitely a little more muzzle rise. Uh, it doesn't track as well as the P365X or the XL. And originally it did uh, have that little bit of a muzzle flip. When we brought out the X, the leverage on that longer grip makes a huge difference. Uh, you're able to get a little bit more toward the front of the front strap. And so when you're putting that pressure on, it keeps the muzzle at a very flat trajectory. And so recoil management was a lot easier with the X. When we come in with the XL, uh, it is a flat shooting gun, uh, but it has more slide mass. So when it comes all the way back, you feel a little bit of that weight toward the back, more than you do with the X version. Uh, and so it gives you a very flat shooting gun, but there is some recoil coming back. It's negligible, but there's definitely a difference. So I understand why they introduced the X. But one thing we wanted to try was taking the P365 and just putting a 12 round magazine with a base plate. Now the grip on the X is actually, you know, the same size as the XL. It's a 12 round grip and you have your 12 round magazine. Uh, with the standard P365, if you add a 12 round extension, you pretty much have the same gun. <laughs> you know, you just have a base plate. Uh, but if you want to go dedicated 12 rounds, you've got that. Um, one of the things I like about the P365 standard is I can use those 10 rounders if I want, and then I can throw in the 12 rounder. Uh, so, you know, it kind of gives you the best of both worlds. But obviously, if you just want to go with one, if you like the 12 rounder, that's going to give you that full extension. There's no base plate, which is less parts and more the way it's designed. But we're going to go ahead and shoot them side by side just to check it out. We're gonna start out with the P365 with the 12 round magazine edition.
You know, it's funny. I mean, they're the same, but there's something about the X to me that just shoots a little bit flatter. Um, not really sure, but it does. It just seems to be a little more controllable. Not much, very little. Now, I don't know what it was, but the X seemed to shoot still, just a little bit better. It may be because it is a one-piece grip instead of the base plate. There may be a little bit of gap there that may be causing just a different feel to it. But when it comes to the X, I just really preferred the X just a touch over the P365 with the longer magazine. Now one advantage of the XL is its sight radius. Uh, it definitely has a little more, so you're able to align your sights a little more finer. And actually the pointability seems to be better with the XL. It's a very natural pointing firearm. With the short slide, you don't quite have that. And a lot of that's perceived, but definitely at distance, you're probably gonna get a little better accuracy as well, see out to 25 yards. And so that is one thing about the XL. And two, with this longer slide, it doesn't make it any harder to conceal than it does with the X because the grip is what shows. And when it comes to disassembly, drop our magazine, check again. Uh, we're gonna bring the slide all the way back and put it in the lock position. Your takedown lever, just bring it down and then hit the slide stop and it comes right off. You don't have to pull the trigger. You have a dual captive guide rod. And then again, your 3.1 carbon steel barrel. And, uh, and that's really all you need to do to field strip, guys. It is really simple. One thing though that I do like about the SIG is that it does have this chassis system and you have full rails all the way down. A lot of the striker fire pistols have little muted rails front and rear. Uh, this goes all the way down. Um, and then of course you can pull out your takedown lever, drive this pin out, and then you can pull out your chassis. And the serial number is right here that is attached to the chassis but you can see it through the frame. And so this is the gun. Uh, this is just a grip shell. And that's the way SIG does a lot of their different firearms. Now here you can see the interior, um, very much like most of your striker fire pistols. We do have a striker block right here. And then one thing you'll notice is there are two screws on either side, and this is the way you remove your optics plate. Uh, the sight is included in the plate, and so that is part of the reason why they have a larger sight on this one. Whereas with the standard P365, we have the short sight. Just drop in your barrel, recoil spring and guide rod, and then bring it back over the slide. And go ahead and put it in the lock position. And then when you do, your takedown lever typically pops right back up. Release your slide stop, and you're ready to go. Test the function, and there you are. Now there are two additional models in the P365 line. Of course, we have our standard P365. We have the X and then we have the XL. Uh, we also have the SAS version, which has a low profile sight. It's into the slide um, and it's really great for concealed carry. You have to really get used to it. Uh, and then they have the Spectra, which is one of their custom works guns. And it has a kind of a distressed finish on the slide. It has a totally different grip frame. And there's a lot of things they've done to it to kind of make it more of a custom type gun. And that's just come out over the past month. And so the SIG P365 line is growing because again, it's been so popular. As far as price goes with the way things are going right now, I don't want to quote a price. Um, I believe that these are retail for $775, but you can get these for considerably less, around the $500 range for your standard P365. And then, of course, with the others, you know, you can check out Gun Zone deals, see what they're offering, but they do have these in stock. And again, we really do appreciate Nate for sending these for this review. Now, guys, you have three great choices. And with the original P365, the big advantage of this is going to be its concealability. Uh, with the shorter grip, you're going to have an easier time concealing this than you are the longer 12-round grips. Uh, and then you can throw in your 12-round magazine if you want the extension, and it will give you that little bit of leverage to make this shoot even flatter. 
but when it comes to the P365X, uh, you do have that longer grip. It is going to give you the leverage you need to really mitigate the recoil. And so flat shooting gun, it's going to weigh a little bit less and it's integral with the frame instead of having that base plate on the end. And it did make a little bit of a difference shooting between the two, which kind of surprised me a little bit. But there's definitely something going on with the X that's just a little bit easier to shoot even with the P365 with the 12 round magazine. And then with the XL, you have more sight radius, you have a little bit longer slide. This is not any more difficult to conceal than the P365X. Uh, and so you've got just a little bit more of a grip. It's a little more of a full feeling pistol. So when you're shooting it, you feel like you have a full pistol and not a compact pistol in your hand. And so I do see some advantages with the XL. And also these do come with the optics plates, which are gonna give them an advantage. Guys, hopefully this gives you a little bit of insight on which one to choose. I mean, it is a difficult choice. Uh, I do like the X with that little bit of an extension, and I think this one out of the bunch shoots the best. But that's for you to decide. And like I've been telling people lately, you be you, and you decide which one's best for you because we all have personal preferences. And guys, we really appreciate Gun Zone deals for sending the P365X and the other two SIGs and uh, just allows us to have a wide variety of different guns to bring to you guys and show you what all's out there because guys we do live in the golden age of firearms and the sig has proved it rubber dummies is one of the best training tools on the market and you get a 10 percent discount using suit zero zero when you click the link down in the description be strong be of good courage god bless america long live the republic And so we were shooting it side by side, 365. This gives you a little longer radius, so you're able to kind of act. Have a nitron finish. Okay. Okay, just calm the heck down. All right. When it comes to the P365X, I'm not even on. I was on, then I was off, then I was on. Sig kind of did it first, and these things again are selling like freaking nutso BB and nutso BB.